हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू इंटेलिफाई यू गाइस मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट अपाचे वेब सर्वर सॉफ्टवेयर अंटिल रिसेंटली अपाचे वाज द मोस्ट यूज्ड सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन द सर्वर साइड बट अनदर सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल्ड एंजिनिक्स टुक ओवर अपाचे टू बिकम द लीडिंग मार्केट शेयर होल्डर फॉर वेब सर्वर्स हाउ डिड दिस हैपन इज एंजिनिक्स बेटर देन अपाचे लेट अस फाइंड दैट आउट इन दिस वीडियो बट बिफोर दैट मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर YouTube चैनल and hit the bell icon for regular updates all right now let us take a look at the agenda for this video firstly i'll be introducing the software nginx and then we'll take a look at a small architecture diagram wherein i'll be explaining the working of nginx followed by a use case wherein i'll be explaining how wordpress.com used nginx as their load balancers all right let us take a look at the agenda for this video firstly i'll be introducing the topic nginx and i'll be giving the formal definition for nginx who started nginx who was the founder and who runs it now all that uh, information and then i'll be giving out a comprehensive working of nginx so we will be taking up an architecture diagram and uh, looking at how nginx works and how uh, it basically fits into the web service and uh, mobile service uh, environment and then finally we'll be looking at one particular use case where nginx has excelled uh, doing its job and it has broken all records now that we know what we are in for let us move on with the first topic introduction so nginx basically started off as a solo project or a side project by a guy named igor sisoev he was working as a system admin and then he originally wrote nginx to solve the c10k problem now what is a c10k problem it was a term coined in 1999 to describe the difficulty that the existing web servers experienced in handling large numbers of concurrent corrections so that is why we have 10k in the name which means 10000 requests so web servers in the earlier times back in 1999 they were having a problem serving more than 10000 requests so uh that is why we have 10k in the name uh c 10k problem and uh then uh the c comes from concurrent connections now what is concurrent uh, connection mean so let's say you want to connect to your user you want to uh, make a connection uh to the end user and your server so that becomes one connection and by concurrent it means 10000 uh people are connecting to your server at the same time so that means concurrent so that is why there is a c in the uh, name c10k problem now uh, to uh, tackle this very particular problem igor sisov uh, he worked on a solo project by looking at uh, the apache code base so apache back then was very famous and it was mostly used as a load balancer for web server and uh, after looking at that code he made some improvements and uh, he started nginx So Nginx was very event driven it was asynchronous architecture Nginx also revolutionized how the servers operated in high performance context and it became the fastest web server available Nginx also revolutionized how servers operate in high performance context and became the fastest web server available Nginx is a web server that can also be used as a reverse proxy which basically acts as a proxy server but in the uh, opposite direction and then obviously it can act as a load balancer which it is mainly used for it will also be used as a mail proxy and http cache as well so you can store your data in the cache instead of the server and then this cache will be responsible for serving your uh, traffic and one more fact about uh, nginx is that uh, it is the most used web server uh, right now so this uh, graph uh, is pulled up from a website called w3tech now what is w3tech uh, it is an extensive and reliable web technology survey website and it basically has surveys ranging from most popular server side languages to articles like most popular javascript libraries etc so they basically have uh, surveys on anything related to web technology so they are a very reliable source so what they say basically is that the count of all the websites using nginx was 33.6% so nginx has a share of 33.6% of all the websites in the world wide web and uh, followed by apache for and then cloudflare server and lightspeed and all the other uh, web servers now let us move on to the working of nginx 
Let's say you have created an application and it is working on your local machine and it runs on a specific port number. Now you want to deploy it on a server like uh, AWS or Heroku or whatever server you choose, whatever service provider you choose. Suppose you have created an EC2 instant on uh, AWS and have deployed the application, meaning uh, deployed your application or your project and a database inside that instance, meaning uh, that EC2 instant on AWS. Then you run the application on the server using a uh, specific commands uh, to that server. So if you have installed Ubuntu, if you have installed uh, CentOS, uh, you should run whatever commands uh, that operating system needs uh, to spin up that server. Uh, after uh, setting all that up, now it works on a specific port number on the server. Your clients are using it and are very happy with your product. Let's assume your application becomes popular and more people start using it and the traffic incoming to your server increases. So let's say this uh, gray box that is the data center is your uh, virtual private cloud and and uh, you have uh, three EC2 instance set up. That means you started off with uh, one EC2 instance and a database attached to it. And of course you have put in your application on the server and everything's going fine. And uh, your customers are happy and uh, let's say your app becomes popular and more people start using it. Now you will have to serve all the extra traffic that is coming in. So you decide to buy another server that is spin up another EC2 instance on the AWS cloud. And then you obviously put up your application, you deploy your application on that server as well. So now your clients using your server will be uh, handling all the requests through a port number. And then uh, this new server will have another port number and uh, this becomes very difficult for the client. Uh, they don't, they become frustrated and they don't want to use two port numbers. Uh, that is an extra layer of work for them. So you will have to handle this on your own, meaning how to uh, balance uh, the load or the traffic coming in from the users. You will have to handle it from your side. So this is where Nginx software comes in. This software comes between the users and the servers to smartly manage the load of the servers and seamlessly balance the traffic without having to worry about the port numbers. Even Nginx will of course have a port number through which the requests are being served, but it will be a common port number like uh, let's say 443 or 80, which your web browser will already be knowing and using. Now all the servers are connected to Nginx software and it acts as a gateway for all the traffic to go through this gateway only. And Nginx will redirect the traffic to the server which has the least amount of load and therefore it acts as a load balancer. Now let us take a look at a use case. Now all of you guys must have heard about WordPress.com. So WordPress basically uh, allows you to set up your blog website or a small website on the uh, World Wide Web very easily. WordPress.com, this website uses Nginx for its load balancing needs. WordPress is an open source publishing software which you can use to create a website or a blog. WordPress.com serves more than 33 million sites and attracting over 339 million people to 3.4 billion pages each month. So of course, looking at these numbers, we get to know that they are handling a lot of traffic in their website. Now let's see what the challenge was for WordPress.com. So WordPress.com was using round robin DNS for their load balancing needs. So the round robin DNS is like an algorithm. It is a piece of code basically which handles your load balancing needs, but it is not uh, very efficient and it is very old. And so they chose a software called as Pound and uh, it basically acted as a load balancer because of its ease of use and it also had a built-in SSL support. So all these uh, features made them uh, choose Pound over the round robin DNS. So this was fine for a while. After using Pound for about two years, WordPress.com required additional functionality and scalability. So let us take a look at this extra functionality that they needed, which was not offered by Pound uh, software. So the very first feature was dynamic reconfiguration capabilities and uh, they had to reconfigure uh, their uh, code base without interrupting the live traffic. Let's say uh, WordPress has to come up with a new update, a small update, let's say, and they had to do that without uh, interrupting the already existing uh, users. That is the users who are on their website should not be interrupted. Uh, so the uh, update should happen in the background that is called dynamic reconfiguration. And nowadays they call it hot reload feature. And the second feature that they needed was better health check mechanisms. So which enabled uh, smooth and gradual recovery from a back 
backend failure without overloading the application infrastructure with unexpected load requests. So this was one of the features they required. And finally, they required better scalability as measured both in uh, requests per second and the number of concurrent connections. We already talked about the C10 uh, 10K challenge. So they needed concurrent connections to be solved as well. And uh, Pound's thread-based model wasn't able to reliably handle over a thousand requests per second per instance. So obviously, uh, after thousand requests, Pound was giving them issues. So this was their problem. Now let's see how Nginx solved this problem, the solution. In April 2008, Automatic, which is the parent company of WordPress, they converted all the WordPress.com load balancers from Pound software to Nginx software. Before that, Automatic Engineers, that is the company named Automatic, the engineers inside that company, they were using uh, Nginx for uh, Gravitar, which was another product of the parent company Automatic. And they used that for a few months and they were quite happy with it. And then they also tried it on their other products like uh, Hap Proxy and uh, LVS as well. And it worked out on both the websites. So finally, they made a move to shift WordPress.com also to Nginx. So that is how the shift happened. Now, let us take a look at the several reasons Automatic, which is the parent company of WordPress.com, chose Nginx as their load balancer. It was easy, flexible, and a logical configuration was also involved. It had the ability to reconfigure and upgrade Nginx instances dynamically without dropping user requests. So this is a hot reload feature that uh, allowed them to update without interrupting their already existing users. Application request routing via fast CGI, SCGI or UWSGI protocols. Nginx can also serve static content directly from storage for additional performance optimization. And only software that was tested uh, was capable of reliably handling over 10,000 requests per second of live traffic to WordPress applications from a single server. And finally, the feature that they offered was minimal and predictable memory and CPU footprint. CPU usage on load balancing servers dropped by a factor of three with Nginx. So it cut down their uh, load balancing uh, server, that is their server count by a factor of three. So back when they were using Pound as their load balancing software, they had to use let's say 30 servers now after using nginx so their servers drop to 10 now let us finally see the result of using nginx as their solution let us take a look at some numbers to establish this fact as of 2012 uh, wordpress.com was serving an average of 70,000 requests per second per server over 15 gbps of traffic and they were doing this by installing 36 nginx load balancers and it also had plenty of room to grow and the second uh, fact or uh, data point here is most of the Nginx load balancers served about uh, 5,000 requests per second, sometimes speaking to 20,000 requests per second and have about 50,000 established connections. So these were the results of using Nginx as a load balancer or uh, in the WordPress.com website. That's it from my side, guys. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session.